ASMR, she saw me in the window. Hello guys and welcome back to another ASMR video. So, first off, you may be wondering, who saw you in the window? <laughs> My neighbour saw me in the window. Not the neighbour that currently lives there, the neighbour that moved out around two years ago. So yeah... <laughs> I'm going to tell you this story time today, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads, there's going to be many uploads, I'm going to be daily uploading, so if you're new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe and turn all bell notifications on so you can get notified when I do next upload because there is going to be frequent uploads from now on and I know I've said this quite a lot in the past and I haven't really stuck to it, I'm sincerely sorry for that, I've just had a lot of things going on. Um, a lot of videos to do for the main channel as well which if you have not checked out you can do by going in the link in the description but yeah without further ado let's get straight into this and i hope that you enjoy as you know from last video i started to do a bit more soft spoken and to be honest i think i'm just gonna like stick with a bit of that and now and again do like the whisper the reason for this is because a lot of you can actually understand the ASMR a bit more better when it's soft spoken and it's just quicker as well and I'm not saying that like oh I just want to quickly tell the story no I just want it to be at a certain kind of pace um, whispered it's a bit more like <laughs> I was about to say too relaxing but it's not so yeah, I'm going to stick with the soft spoken. If you like that, let me know. If you would like more whispered, please let me know. But yeah, so this story time did actually take place around three years ago. So at this point, I was, I was obviously a teen. And I can remember on the one morning I went out with, it was me and three of my friends. We went on a long, long ass bike ride. It was crazy. So anyways, I remember waking up and no one's in the house because it was a Saturday and my mum and everything had to work. So I was just going to plan to meet my friends down at the local shop, which wasn't too far away. It was only like 10 or 15 minutes away. So when I'd meet my one friend uh, who just lived around the corner from me, he was one of my best friends at the time. He's, I don't know what he's up to now hoping he's all good, I haven't spoke to him too much, well, I haven't spoke to him at all, but yeah, I hope he's doing all good man, um, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, I hope, you, I hope you're good, I hope you're chilling, but yeah, so I would just go and meet him, and then me and him would just go down to the local shops and meet up with our two other friends, and then we'd basically just go on our bike ride, and this day we was going to be going to Sandville Valley, so that is quite a long trek to be honest from where we live so anyways i can remember i wake up it's like 7 a.m and we was all meant to properly be meeting at quarter to eight so i had roughly 45 minutes to get everything ready shower and whatnot and then meet up with my one friend to go like 10 15 minutes down the road to meet up with the rest of the guys so anyways you know i'm just there i wake up and i get a text from my friend and he's like oh yo bro outside your house i'm outside your house and i'm like what like i wasn't meant to be meeting you for another half an hour i've literally just woke up and he's like nah bro i'm calling you i'm gonna knock the door and i was like oh for god's sake so i rushed down the stairs with hardly anything on i had to just chuck a top on my dressing gown and obviously i had shorts on so i ran downstairs i opened the door i was like yo bro just wait in there and he's like man why can't i just come upstairs and then i was like bro like no <laughs> i've got to go in the shower like <laughs> but anyways he was like oh and i was like yeah so he went he waited in the living room i went back upstairs and as i was going up the stairs I was like yo man how long are you gonna be you need to hurry up you know and i was like bro we have like 30 or some odd minutes to get there can you please chill and he was like um just hurry up please i'm begging so i was like okay i'm gonna hurry up i'm be as fast as possible so you know i go upstairs i 
go into my room and in my room, the room I'm in right now, there is an airing cupboard. So in that airing cupboard, there's a lot of towels, clothing, you know, I just have a clove rattle in my bedroom. I did used to have a full wardrobe, but I sacrificed the wardrobe for my recording little bit, you know. So yeah, I took the doors off and whatever and I just slung up a, a little, what do you call it, a little coat hanger. Uh, where I could put my clothes and then I just fold the rest of it put it into the airing cupboard. So first I go into the bathroom and I can hear some noise as I'm walking past the landing like out the back window. And I look and it's literally just this guy walking down the steps into his conservatory because you can see from the landing window into their garden. My garden is pretty big. But it's like four times the size of the other gardens. I don't exactly know why. Apparently it's because it's like a corner plot house. I don't know how that makes sense, any sense. Or the, like what that has to do with anything. But yeah that's the reason why the uh, <coughs> the house is bigger. I, I don't know. But yeah anyways. What ends up happening is. I end up going into the bathroom. I shut the window. I put the shower on and I just leave it run for a bit, five or ten minutes, and then I'll go into my room. I know, you're going to be like, oh, it's a good wasting water. Uh, okay, I kind of understand, but it's like a little routine. I let the shower run for five minutes and then I jump in. For one, it lets the water, you know, all clear through the pipes and, yeah, why not, you know? I don't know, but it's a bit weird, but uh, yeah. So, I go back into my room and I'm just sitting there scrolling through my phone as well before I went into the shower I was like bro I'm I'm gonna jump in now and he's like oh yeah yeah man hurry up like we we gotta go in a bit and I was like yeah I'll be like 10 minutes max he's like oh yeah sweet bro sweet so anyways I remember I'm walking out my bedroom and I'm walking out my bedroom and there's this like there's there's an empty landing bit so I you know proceed to walk across the hallway like the, the landing bit and as I'm doing it I turn my head to the left and I see this woman just staring into the landing window. I don't know what she was doing at all. Like, I have no clue. I think the door or something caught her eye and she must have looked. But as the door was opening, at this point I've got nothing on. And by the time I have got to the bathroom, she would have saw me and my toe was in the bathroom. Yes, I do sit in my bedroom with nothing on. You know, it's it's the house that I live in. No one's really home. My friend's downstairs. Why can't I do that, you know? And she looks and she's just pure shock. Like, the window that we have is like a full glass window from the floor up to the roof. Well, not really up to the roof, but it's from the floor so you can see your feet up to like the top of your head and even higher. So I'm walking past this. I don't know why this is there. It's just there. But she sees me, right? And literally, I have nothing on. I'm literally just strolling into the bathroom with my phone. But it was like it was in slow motion. When I look over to her, I see her. And I'm like, oh. And she literally just looks away. In pure, like, her face. (laughs) Oh, my God. That face that she pulled was priceless. She then run down the steps into the conservatory and must have got scared. No, she wasn't old. Thank God. She was around like maybe 30, 35. So anyways, the whole time I'm in the shower, I am literally, literally no word of a lie. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, did you see me? Is she going to tell my mom? Like, what is she going to do? Like, I'm actually scared. Is she going to tell her husband? Like, what is going on? Like, what do I even do? Like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Should I have covered myself up? But then I was like, no, it's my house. Why should I have to? She should have never been looking, etc. I was just thinking, procrastinating and just overthinking about just what had recently happened, like a few moments ago. So anyways, I finish up the shower. I get it done quick because I don't want to be in there. I end up getting dressed. I run downstairs. I'm like, bro, let's go. And he's like, that quick? And I was like, yeah, yeah, man let's go, so I go out the back, I get my bike, I take it out to the front, and as I'm going out the front, she's there, cleaning her car, this this could have not been any worse of a timing, so I'm like, bro, you good, you good, 
and she's just kind of like looking over to me and just I can you know when you can see someone in your prefer- peripheral but you can't actually like see them it's kind of like a blur like a bokeh effect like you only see what you're looking at but then the rest is blurry it's exactly like that and damn I knew she was looking at me I end up I'm like bro let's just get out of here and I rush from my house I rush um thank god when I came back she wasn't there and I did kind of laugh in her face one of the times when she was talking to my mom because yeah she was she's a bit weird I'm not gonna lie but yeah anyways they ended up moving now so yeah guys if you did enjoy the story of when I got <laughs> caught in that kid I guess I don't, I don't know what to title this video maybe you guys can come up with a good title but yeah have a blessed rest of your day night evening wherever you are in the world and yeah guys this is Isaac signing now try not to get a ding a dong dong ding 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 seen ever again by some stranger who's just living next door and yeah guys 